So right, your predicament is that you have no footage, nothing. You've never worked for a client, you haven't done any editing work prior to your own stuff or anything before. And for an example of what you can create from absolutely nothing, here's my showreel that I made live on stream with absolutely nothing. So first of all, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some footage. But obviously you don't have any footage because you're here, but you do now. Right, so to create that, it's a very simple process. All we're gonna need to do is just gather some clips. By using sites like Pexels and Pixabay, we've got all the footage that we need to use. Yes, it's, um, it's some of it's amazing, some of it's pretty cruddy, but uh, there's footage and that's all we need. Because remember, if you're a freelance video editor, you're not a filmmaker as such. You can branch out into that and then you would need your own footage because if you're a filmmaker using stock footage, then, uh, Naughty. So this is mainly targeted just towards video editors. So get your footage together. Whether you're telling a story or you're telling just random different topics like I did in the freelance stream, you just, you get what you need. Then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to find some music because every good showreel needs a good piece. You can't make Lord of the Rings without the beautiful uh, orchestral theme going behind it. So you're gonna need to find your theme and that is a bit of a tricky one. I say tricky, but it's not actually that tricky. It was a fake, that was a lie, right? So here's the truth. Use either YouTube audio library, Facebook's audio library, or some other free music that's out there. I would stick to those two because they have uh, people actually make music for them and they're actually really good. Surprisingly, check out the music I used in the show reel, an absolute hit. So you've got your music, all you gotta do is just start editing the end. That's not the end because we're actually making a show reel. So as I discussed in the stream, make sure to watch on Thursdays at 12 p.m. GMT time. You need to find out who you are going to be hitting with this show reel. Each show reel has to be targeted. So think of this like your CV, but in a video format. And so all you need to do is you need to choose who you're going to be targeting. So with the show reel that I created, I tried to target uh, advertisers and brands online and basically anything really. It was a quite an open-ended one. So it showed a little bit of cinematicness. It showed some TikTok style editing and what I kind of supply really in with my skills. But if you are somebody who wants to target something even more and like niche down, that's a very good thing to do, to be perfectly honest with you. And that's exactly what uh, a YouTuber did. Um, I know this isn't helpful, but I'm just, uh, I, it's just, it's come to my brain. Okay, so this is, we, we're just jumping into the computer. It wasn't the plan, I promise you. I'm gonna just do this on the fly. So I found this channel called, uh, I'm gonna butcher his name, aren't I? This is gonna be absolute hell. And so basically the content that he produces on his YouTube channel is kind of like loads of different showreels. And I absolutely couldn't believe how fantastic it really was. So he's using his YouTube channel to target a load of different industries as such. He's got adverts for normal productions, he's got documentary showreels, he's got top 10 video showreels, he's got showreels for his showreels, bloody everything. So make sure to go and have a look at Adrian. He's a good uh, example of kind of like what you need to do. And to be honest, uh, I'm taking tips from him. It, it's a fantastic idea. So right, back to it. Find your niche. Are you making it for a gaming video? Are you making it for uh, advertisers? Are you making it for documentaries? Are you making it for filmmakers? So kind of start deciding what you're going to say within your showreel. What is the message? I know everybody has their own showreels and stuff like that, but the lesson that I've kind of learned myself has been the people that I'm going to be pitching my showreel to aren't video editors. They're not people who have in industry video editors or anything. A lot of the time they're going to be smaller companies who don't really have an inbuilt media department and so are, you know, wanting help with their company. So what I did with this showreel is I wanted to target get more of a wide variety of people. And because a wider variety of people don't video edit, then what's the point of trying to overly impress somebody with video editing tropes when it's something that they don't understand? It's like, 
trying to pitch CGI to your, your, you know, your local bakery. What I wanted to go with was simple text and making the message on the on the show reel the most important thing because they're just going to be reading it. They want to know exactly what they're going to get from you. They're going to want to know what you can offer them and be kind of pumped up for their own product. So my show reel that I made was aiming towards 2022, new year, new you, new business, and uh, all the different things that I could help you with as a video editor. So once you've found your message, all you've gotta do is just tie it up. Don't overthink things too much. Yes, put time and effort into it, but don't overthink it because you'll often do too much stuff. And don't, for the love of God, don't use too many bloody zooms. Pick and choose where it's gonna be. The most important thing about video editors is understanding the edit and making sure you understand how to edit yourself. If you start going over tropes and loads of zooms and make it look like some Instagram reel, nobody's going to really buy into that because you need to show a lot of different things. So editing a corporate video or a video for a company is completely different to editing something for like Nike or whatever. And then the same thing goes for uh, gaming. So once you've done these things and tied it off, you've rendered your piece and then you have your first show reel. What I would say is even though you've made one overall show reel, start targeting down. So maybe go through free footage websites like Pexels and Pixabay, or even if you could get a subscription to one of them, uh, like Storyblocks or whatever. If you can find the footage to try and hanker down and really make some show reels aimed at certain audiences, that means when you get in contact with people or people get in contact with you, you can really show them something exactly of what you do. And that's something that I've done myself. So I have like a show real aim towards gaming companies and stuff like that. I've got show real aim towards like lifestyles, more stuff. I've got an aim, show real aim towards corporate. It's so important. And I think it's one thing that people forget to realize is targeting audience. Showing your show reel of gaming footage isn't gonna help a corporate entity trust in you. And the same thing goes the other way around. So ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this or you found any sort of information useful from this video, make sure to uh, some Mac. That like button. Hit subscribe, stick around. We've got so much more stuff that we're gonna be doing. Me and you, we, you know, amigos, amigos. I don't flipping know. Make sure to keep editing and I will, um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.